Hello and welcome to this video on FIFOs in Linux. FIFOs are also called named pipes. In an earlier video on pipes, we have seen that we can connect commands in a pipeline like cat, file1, pipe to more. The vertical bar is the pipe symbol. The standard output of the cat process becomes the standard input for the more process. How does it work? There is a pipe system call which makes a pipe. And there is a dup2 system call which takes old FD and new FD. So what really happens is once you make a pipe system call, it gives two file descriptors, pipe FD0 for read and pipe FD1 for write. Now first you create a pipe and uh, get these two pipe file descriptors and then you create process. This is say process one cat and this is say more. Now for the cat process you do a dup2 on uh, pipe fd1 and 1. 1 is the standard output and pipe fd1 is the write pipe file descriptor. So after this the 1 and the file descriptor 1 that is a standard output and pipe fd1 refer to the same file descriptor. So once you create the cat process it writes on 1 the standard output but actually it is writing on pipe fd1. Similarly for the more process you do dup2 pipe fd0 and 0. So here the standard input and pipe fd0 mean the same pipe file this same file descriptor and so more process reads on 0 but actually it is reading on 1 uh, pipe fd0 whereas uh, cat process it writes on 1 standard output but actually it is writing on pipe fd1. So all this thing is done by somebody it is done by shell. In this case in the command cat file 1 pipe to more shell is doing all this jugglery so that when cat process writes on standard output pipe uh, file descriptor 1 it actually writes on pipe fd1 and more process when it reads on standard input it actually reads from the pipe. So somebody has to set up the pipe and shell is doing it. You can see this the, this command so it what it actually means that either these two processes cat and more they should have some relationship they should share a parent like shell who can do who can set up the pipe or they should they can be parent and child so that the parent process can set up the pipe and communication can be done on a pipe so there should be some some relationship now think of a situation where one process is running since morning and second process now it comes up and they want to communicate. Surely they can't communicate over pipe because the pipe has to be set up before the processes are created. Now since the first process is already running since morning and second process has just come up they can't communicate over pipe because first processes are running since morning. So there has to be some other way of communication. There is a whole range of inter-process communication mechanism in Unix and Unix like systems like Linux and FIFO is one of those mechanisms. FIFO is a pipe. In this case, in this case cat file1 pipe to more, there is a pipe, it does not have a name. But FIFO is a named pipe, is called a named pipe, this FIFO has a name. And in the rest of this video, 
we shall look at FIFOs, how how they can be set up, and the how the FIFOs help us in inter-process communication. So, what is a FIFO? A FIFO is a named pipe. It is a name like a file in the file system, and fundamentally, it is a pipe. If a process opens a FIFO for read, it blocks till another process opens it for write. Similarly, if a process opens a FIFO for write, it blocks till a second process opens it for read. This is because data cannot be stored permanently in a FIFO. It is like a pipe. If you send water from one end, there should be a receiver at the another end. And you cannot store water in a pipe. Earlier, we had seen that in case of communication via pipes, the processes had to have a common ancestor to set up the pipeline. But here, in case of FIFO, there is no such problem. Processes 1 and 2 need not be related. Either process can come up at any time. It is just that open would block till a matching sender or receiver comes up. How to create a FIFO? We can create a FIFO from the shell using the make note command. Make note. We can see it with ls minus ls. And we can remove it just like any other file. Make FIFO command. Make FIFO is the specialized command to create a FIFO. And then there is mk FIFO system call for creating a FIFO from a program. This is an example client server system using FIFOs for communication. Each process has a FIFO. Any process which to communicate with the process puts a message in the FIFO for that process. The concerned process picks up the message for, from its FIFO. So in this case, FIFO is kind of a mailbox for a process. You would note that in this arrangement for having one FIFO for each process means that there is a single reader for each FIFO. This is a good thing to do because reads on FIFO are not guaranteed to be atomic. So multiple readers for a FIFO is not a good idea. We look at the code for the server and the client. This is our server program. Our server is an add server. It gets a list of numbers in a message, adds those numbers and sends a total back to the client. So server's FIFO name is slash tmp slash addition underscore FIFO server. This, is, this name is known to all clients. So clients that want to talk to the server send a message to this FIFO. The server comes up, it makes a FIFO of this name slash temp slash addition FIFO server and it opens it and it waits for a message to come from a client. Now let us look at the client code. This is the server FIFO address, FIFO, server FIFO name. So client knows it and then client has a FIFO. The client's FIFO name is uh, slash temp slash add client FIFO followed by the PID, process ID of the client. So it makes the FIFO for itself. Then it asks the user to type in all the numbers that you want to be added. Uh, so what the client does, it copies, it copies the FIFO name first, puts a space and then puts the, all the numbers that user has entered and sends them to the server. It opens the server FIFO and then it writes to the server FIFO the message which contains its FIFO name and all the numbers that are required to be added up. Let's get back to the server code. The server gets the message from client and then it uh, parses the message into tokens. Each token is separated by either comma, space or new line. In our case, it's the space. So, it uh, first token is the return FIFO name, the FIFO name of the client. 
it is stores in the return 54 variable and then it has an array of array of pointers to st to strings where it stores all the pointers to numbers then it converts each uh, number into a floating point uh, number each string number into a floating point number and then it adds up all the numbers the server opens the client 54 and then it writes the answer back into the client 54 and closes the client 54 that is a server processing let's get back to client client gets the answer from server and then it prints the answer on the display so we can start the server and add server and we can start the clients also I'll put all the numbers I want to be added up 1, 2, 3, 4.3 minus 99 plus 12, 33.333 and the answer comes to the message go to server comes back the uh, answer comes back and answer is minus 43.3667 so that's how the server and the client work you can find all the source code and explanation at http colon double slash bit dot ly slash fifos hyphen in hyphen linux we have come to the end of this video Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks very much for watching. Have a good day.